of uh, the countdown. Uh, we are green. We've been here before, and this time we're going to make it, my friends. Uh, everybody is moving outside to watch the uh, the launch uh, from the patio. And again, we're about 12, 13 kilometers, something like that, uh, from the launch pad. I remain inside. Uh, I've seen this before, and it's phenomenal. But I tell you, as I said before, over a million man hours worth of work on Terra Star One. All of the work from everybody here, all coming together. We're in the final 20 seconds. Here is the famous countdown. À tous de l'EDO, attention pour le décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top. Allumage Vulcain. Allumage des étages d'accélération à poudre et décollage. Les paramètres bord sont en The Ariane 5 ECA has roared into the skies above Koru. This is my third launch. It takes my breath away every time. Dirk has already come back in. Uh, what do you think, man? Oh, jeez. That was just amazing. Uh, the sound, this light, is, uh, that is really something. That is 1,350 tons of thrust that boosts this amazing machine into the sky. About the same as 8 Airbus 380, the biggest commercial plane in the world, taking off. Okay, we've broken the sound barrier, and now it is starting to rumble here at Jupiter. This gigantic building is shaking as the Ariane 5 roars into orbit uh, above us, and I'll tell you, it is absolutely one powerful machine, and it's still rumbling this building, and yeah, it's a huge yeah, building. You, you feel that? Yes, that is. Each booster is consuming 2.5 tons per second of solid propellant, and the Vulcan 2 engine is burning 320 kilograms per second of liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen. And it's still roaring here. Uh, that uh, green screen has been replaced now by a chart with a moving dot. What's that representing? Uh, the curve on the left shows the trajectory and uh, the projected trajectory profile, and the moving dot is the current position of Ariane 5. Just below, we have the V. Uh, the V stands for the velocity, and then we have the A. That stands for the altitude. So we are doing uh, quite fine, and we couldn't be better. Okay, just over two minutes. All is well. In a matter of seconds, we will see the burnout and the jettison of the twin solid rocket boosters. That should happen at about the two-minute and 20-second uh, 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 mark yeah. into the mission. And so. we'll hear the call out. And that will be coming up, and there we see the animation. Uh, and Dirk, the boosters have done their job. There is the confirmation from the DDO. Uh, we have the separation of the boosters, so the boosters have done their job, and we don't need them anymore. In order to avoid any collision, the boosters are distanced by little rockets from the core stage. The mass of the launcher is now 180 tons, and so we lost 600 tons in about a couple of minutes. Wow, I'd love to lose weight like that. Uh, those boosters are now going to fall back into the Atlantic. On this flight, we're not going to recover them. 256, and all is well in the mission with Ariane 5. Uh, we see the fairing is still on there. Uh, tell us about that. Yeah, the fairing uh, will be gone in a few seconds. Uh, it has protected Tester 1 on ground before launch. It protects it. 